All right, guys, I'm here with head coach, American University, Jason Borelli. How you doing, Jason? Doing great. That's great. You just came off your inner squad simulation bouts. Everybody had their Russell loss per se. You had your simulation bouts. How, how'd everything go? Yeah, things went well. You know, we, we do really make the distinction between uh, a wrestle off and a simulation. I mean, our guys know that this was practice. It wasn't to set a lineup. It wasn't to dictate order. You know, we really like like to use the regular season for that. So, so we put most of our guys uh, wrestling somebody else at a different weight. Even we made them make, make scratch weight, but then uh, we had them wrestle somebody else not at the weight class, and we did that strategically because you know just the, the nature of wrestling is. If you wrestle someone in your weight class and you beat them, you think you're the guy, right? And uh, while sometimes there might be a, that the need for that, um, in October, we don't feel like that should be the need. I and mean, that shouldn't be the mindset. We want to keep our guys ambitious and hungry throughout the year. So, But, you know, the simulation matches themselves went really well. We stayed healthy. That's the first thing. Yeah. You come out of yep. them with uh, no one getting any major injuries. And then, two, we actually, I thought, we looked really really good for this time of year. I actually thought we'd be flatter. I thought making scratch weight for the first time, we'd see a lot of guys fatigue and fade late, but cardiovascular and muscle endurance, like we, we held up pretty well, so that's a real big positive. Um, and we got a chance to practice what we're going to do in a week, so you know, I, I think all in all, a great day. That's great to hear, and I, I absolutely agree. The guys look great out there, and uh, you're heading into, I guess, a crosstown rivalry with, uh, well, you got Duke coming in, Bloomsburg, and University of Maryland. That's pretty exciting. Have you wrestled Maryland? Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> was, uh, uh, we wrestled Maryland in a home duel. They came to us oh, last you did. year, which was really nice. And um, we're excited to go back there. You know, to start the year, generally, we would probably want to start ideally with a tournament. But to have a quad meet where we get three duels, plus an opportunity for exhibition match or extra countable matches. Sure. Uh, you know, we think it'll be a great day and a lot of wrestling. So I think, you know, thinking back, although I probably going into scheduling would have preferred a tournament the first weekend, now I'm getting really excited that we have duels uh, because we get a chance for everyone to have a lot of matches. And uh, and who doesn't love the team aspect? Starting the year exactly. after a long wait uh, in, in a dual meet environment is exciting. So uh, we're glad that, that Maryland's putting that together and, and great opportunity to see Duke, who we saw last year, but we haven't seen Bloomsburg, and another chance to wrestle Maryland. So I'm, I'm really fired up. That's awesome. I hope we can get a big crowd out there from the DMV. Yeah. Um, I spoke with Colin and Patrick earlier, and they, you know, they were mentioning a little bit of what you touched upon. You know, you got a young squad. They're kind of the, you know, the hang around leaders yeah. from the old old uh, group. Yeah. But, you know. What, what's your perspective, you know, having a group like this uh, with that dynamic? Yeah, so well, I'm really thankful that we do have a, a group of a couple older guys that are still here. Colin and, and Pat Ryan, Colin Shannon, uh, Connor Bourne, you know, we, Will Gerald. We, we have some guys who have been around, and we need that because we're really young. So of our 25-man roster, we have 17 at four, so 21 of them are first or second year wow, wrestlers. Wow. So, that, you know, those the, the four that I mentioned, I think, are our only true upperclassmen. Sure. And um, so we, we really need we need that. We, we have, you know, it's interesting because we have some guys that are in their third year of college, but in reality, they missed an entire year for COVID. Right. So last year, although that was their second year in college, it was really their first year of wrestling. So, like I said, we have like 21 guys that are in their first or second year of college wrestling. And that's a really young group. So we need Colin, we need uh, Will Gerald, we need Connor Bourne, we need Pat Ryan's leadership because they've been, they've been in the trenches, they've gone through many seasons, and so they can keep the locker room, uh, you know, under control and upbeat when, uh, you know, college wrestling season can drag on and get tough. Right, right, yeah. exactly. And congratulations on the facility, there was an announcement that you will be gaining a new facility. Tell, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we're really, really, really excited for that. So um, it started out as the CAP, C-A-P, CAP project, which stands for Center for Athletic Performance. But uh, through the generosity of uh, Alan and Amy Meltzer and their family, uh, they gave a major, major gift, actually in, in total a $15 million gift wow. to, to kind of push that project over the top. And, they're going to name that entire facility after the Meltzer family. So it's going to wow. be the Meltzer Family Center for Athletic Performance. So just incredibly thankful uh, for their 
support, their generosity, and cannot wait for our new home. You know, it's, it, it is is a building and a facility for all athletics here. Sure. But it will it will most definitely have the biggest purpose for wrestling in the sense that our our wrestling room, our locker rooms, our coaches' offices, and our new competition venue will all be in one building. So really excited for that. That's excellent. And and last thing here, you know, and anything you know. I guess coming from Stanford all the way out here to the, the left coast, we call it. Anything that stands out to you? Um, how do you like it out here so far? Yeah, I love everything. And there's a lot of similarities from, from the west to the east. Um, obviously, the time zone change is, is a lot different and <laughs> refreshing for me because a lot of my friends and my family are all on the east coast, so it was always hard communicating with them. But, uh, you know, just a lot of similarities, a lot to do, very diverse area. Um, um, you know, just the school that I'm at, very similar, high academic school, mm. same type of student athlete. So, you know, I enjoy that, and uh, I enjoy the the wrestling where we are in wrestling. You know, obviously we want to grow the DMV and make it stronger. Sure. But there's a lot of people, and there's a lot of people that care, and uh, that's exciting. And so, I have an opportunity to be around also some other great neighboring states and you know, we can recruit easier from Pennsylvania and yep. New Jersey and New York or closer so I've enjoyed everything uh, I have really I can't think of anything that's been a negative or, or a surprise any surprises I guess would be positive if sure. else. so it's been it's been awesome and really just want to get as connected to the local wrestling community as possible that's one thing that is really important to me is that I don't just focus on building AU wrestling I want to make sure we focus on building the greater wrestling community Sure. That sounds great, Jason. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. We'll be we're glad we have you out here. We'll be looking forward to your season. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.